Okay, we're heading off to the Ripcon, Ripcon facility. Rocket facility. Uh, I guess it's a uh, good enough time to talk about my character's prejudices, I guess. Uh, I don't like ghouls. Uh, I can't stand to be with them uh, or around them. I think they're disgusting. I don't have any need to try to do a genocide on ghouls, but uh, I, I don't like them. So I'm definitely prejudiced against them. Same, sort of similar thing in a slider sense against other mutants, but Ghouls especially because they they look pretty much like walking carcasses. They don't look like they're functioning living creatures anymore. They look like they would have been better off dying when whatever happened to them happened. And so I'm not coming after me. Do that. Uh, you got a few good hits on me, so a lot of damage and more importantly, I'm radiated. I'm not liking ghouls anymore now. I'm going to use 10 sons of Charizard Perilla bottles for healing. I need to get rid of the extra weight anyway. I don't think the healing effects stack in the sense that I'm he being healed more faster. I think they stack in their duration. So this it's gonna take some quite some human flesh. Well, food is food. Uh, it'll take some time before the healing effects stop. Too long, but that's another matter. I think we're going with dynamite. Yeah, nice, nice zoom there. This works with grenades if uh, if you use the turn-based mode. But it doesn't really work when you use the real-time combat mode and. No problems with bullet weapons or projectiles, slaters, anything like that. But with grenades, it just doesn't work all that well. Flamer fuel. Flamer would be a good weapon here. Where the hell did the body go? I did dynamite the bastard, didn't I? Off out. I was using doping anyway, so... He deserved to die. I am more, even more intrigued what's happening here because... Clearly there are super mutants here and they are feral ghouls, ghouls, so who's in control? Ash farm, well, yeah definitely we have a stealth boy here, so super mutant was vaporized. But feral ghouls don't use energy weapons, so there's someone else here too. Getting pretty crowded. Grenades. 
Uh, a lot of energy weapon ammunition. Yeah, this doesn't feel at all like a super mutant cache. It's the composition is all wrong. So someone was here. Did the feral ghouls come first or did the super mutant come first? Cowboy repeater. Yeah, I guess the explosions must have thrown things about here. Okay, dead ghouls. Bright Brotherhood rope, so that answers that question. Ghouls came first. They probably had feral ones with them and then came the supermans. As far as the lore, lore is concerned, uh, I don't think feral ghouls attack normal ghouls. So there's a ghoul group colony here. Why would the supermans come here? They completely ignored the town right next to it, so they might they must have a specific reason to come to this side. I want to take a look what we're getting into. Some kind of a dome. And a road leading to the rocket facility. So I'm guessing that's our main target. Now, uh, that doesn't look like an accessible area, really. Maybe from there, but. Definitely not in here. Ooh, and feral ghouls. It's pain to ask because we don't we can't detect the nightkin before they're pretty much on top of us. Uh, I would hate to be in a fight with the feral ghouls and suddenly suddenly notice that I'm in the middle of Night King. I don't really have the weapons then. The 9mm machine gun might be enough to take out Night King or two before we're in serious ammunition problems. But we can't do any extended fighting with them. The pistol certainly isn't enough to reliably take them down. We will be suffering quite a lot of damage if we go that round. So, our best bet is to notice all the threats before we stumble into them, use mines, use grenades, and take them out. Preferably with sneak attacks. It took two grenades, with one doing a sneak attack, to take out a single night thing. That's one clip plus of a pistol shot. And that's assuming all the shots hit in the same body part, pretty much. Uh, 
I, I don't intend to leave a lot of these ghouls alive, but have the opportunity to kill them. Again, I think I'm doing them a favor. I certainly wouldn't want to leave as a ghoul. Rather take the bullet to the brain option. I'm not sure this charge is powerful enough to even cripple up. A feral ghoul. Certainly a normal feral ghoul, but a roamer, uh, I'm not sure. Shit. There's the. Need to go up. Dump this here. It's the only way. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Yeah, Romer. Ah, uh, thank God he was up. Terrible, terrible. Well, it's not really a shot, is a but yeah, it's better to be sure. I do like the magical powers of my 9mm pistol. Uh, it, it basically beat at gravity and had the blood sp spatter upwards. This is a magical gun. I'm never gonna give it, give it up. There's some kind of wall here. Okay. They missed the other job. Fine. We will find some other poor sap to walk into it. Laser rifle. Turbo. Gives a turbo plus one. That's a nice descriptive item right there. Use turbo, get a plus one turbo. Well, it's not totally useless in the sense that it excludes a lot of effects now, doesn't it? It only gives you a turbo and nothing else. So, knowing that is something, but not much. No. Come get me. Oh shit. There's a lot of them. I do any more. Okay, situation control. Um uh, we need to make sure these guys are still there. He's dead. One else. Yeah, better to make sure. I uh, don't want them rising up and starting to move again. I think I have a magical knife too. Anti gravity knife. No. That blood splatter looked pretty much normal. As normal that can be expected in a video game. It's definitely just a gun. Oh, 
Well, if you wanted energy weapons, it would be a great place to visit. Got tons of it. Tons of ammunition, flame review. Ooh, missiles too. So, not a total waste for us either. Well, there's no missile launcher, so why would they have missiles here? I'm not wondering why would they have missiles, surely they could have some something in storage. But why would they bring missiles in the frontline positions if they don't have missile launchers too? Yeah, I'll see if I can get up there. Uh, I don't see a spot though. It seems pretty impenetrable. Yeah, this uh, definitely no way to get there. Not from here. Something in the middle of that, though. And absinthe. Had I steady? I think steady reduces the spread of weapon fire. Not all as useful with a pistol, but guns. Patch to retcon basement. Requires a key. Oh, not a total loss coming here. But yeah, we're not getting there. I think this is one of those impenetrable wall things, so even if yeah, I, I'm it's the area is not shaped like the geometry implies there's a solid wall there that you just can't bypass. We have almost again full weight. Ah, we must have tons of energy ammunition. Well, we can easily enough go and drop, drop the extra load when we need to. It's not too much of a problem right away. We're not suffering from radiation poisoning, and it would reduce 80 points of radi ra 80 rads. So there's no point in using it now, since we're below 80. And I think you need 200 to even get a mild radiation poisoning. I, I don't want to go through the front door if I can avoid it. Well, it worked for quite well for us in the Bison Steve, but. I'm comfortable. I'm not comfortable with the stopping power of our weapons at the moment. Explosives will probably do, but they're cumbersome to use in when you're inside a building. Very high probability of blowing yourself up. Launch music signal detected. Big room, east side of the building, metal stairs up. Where are you located? Uh, I'm not this much of a dumbass, so who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. So it's cool. Okay, let's go. Stop wasting time. East side of the building. 
So it didn't mention up or down, but since we're going to have to use a staircase to go up, I'm guessing we want to go as up as we can get. It probably wouldn't hurt. This probably isn't it. Mm. Sort of interesting items, but I'm not going to take them on now. Last my rifle. These would be very powerful weapons. Definitely. Something we might want to use against the mutants. Okay, employee terminal. Public kitchen. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Okay, please also remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening, so date your food. Uh, that's a good policy. Okay. Welcome to Robco. To all Repcon staff. Greetings fellow Repcon employees. I'm happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Robco. Starting tomorrow, we will be official Robco facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. Thank you all for your time and welcome again to the Robco family. Hmm. Robco HQ Supply Department. Hey Robco Supply, first of all, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. Super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kings in the supply chain? Yesterday, a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two rows of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. And okay, uh, that's a uh, pretty good indication why the super mutants are here. There's still boys here. Private server access. Robco visit. Okay, to launch facility project manager. Steve. Please make sure your people are ready for Rob the Robco visit. We are down to negotiating on what the project is worth. So the better the tax experiment goes tomorrow, the better for all of us. Again, reply from Steve. Sir, I have my team looking into what happened yesterday. I was assured by my best people that the experiment would go off without a hitch. 
We are starting cleanup of the affected area today, but I'm told it may take decades for the radiation to clear completely. It is steep. Just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position with Rothko. I want them to know that we can keep our house in order. Nothing uh, of interest. Um, I, I don't want to explore too thoroughly now. It's coming our way. It's coming our way. It's not on this floor. You hear you, freaky schmittens. Nothing new. Seems like it's on the other side of this door, possibly. Yeah, this is not a safe place to be. Possibly a ghoul in that cubicle. I, I don't like my position here, I, I'm... I'm cornered from uh, multiple directions. Luckily, so far there have been the weaker mutants, but it's just a matter of time. I thought I was hitting badly, but it's a roamer. They don't go down so fast. Still, I wasn't exactly hitting well either. Just try to get through this as quickly as possible. I think we should be safe now. Dead ghouls. What a shame. Another plasma rifle. So, fairly good loot from this place. Again with the gravity defying blood. A stream of blood just rising up in the heaven. Alright, smooth skin, I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you.
God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. But you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smoothskin. They won't work on Jason either. The skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smoothskin. Go waste Jason's. Well, at least they're not hostile. They're not well in the head, though. Jason will deliver us from the pain of this world. I'm guessing you're Jason, then. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright, that's funny. Yeah, that's not, not particularly funny. Yeah, what's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. What is this great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Now, what is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Mm, that would indicate a high radiation area. Ghouls are immune to radiation if they actually get healed by it. Okay, how will you make this journey? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. Tell me about the demons. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside? Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Uh, I, I don't know. Our mission basically was to get rid of the ghouls, but uh, I don't see... 
but the overall goal was to make this place safe enough for salvagers to come so we have to get rid of the super immigrants too somehow then there's the other consideration we fo already found uh, one access door that was locked so is the access area to where the demons are locked by a key if there if it is I, I i think we have to accept this mission just to gain access so i'll take care of the demons praise the creator bless you wanderer bless us all as soon as the underground has been rid of demons preparations for the great journey can resume yeah his skin looks wrong like the textures are wrong especially in the hands and in the head uh, i think it's the lighting because it looked like he had basically normal hands and part of his face had a really strong cut Let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. Yeah. They're different from the east, but I, I, I think it's just the lighting. If it gets it, the problem is that the effect that has been created is a mixture of several things, but all those different areas are not affected in the same way by the light. So, in the incorrect lighting or a bad lighting. It just looks wrong because it affects some part of the that uh, that forms the skin effect and not the other, so it can look really wrong. Hey, go bother Jason, smooth skin. I don't like having you around. Good riddance. Sorry, we don't talk to outsiders. Talk to Jason if you have business here. Uh, I don't exactly trust these ghouls. Even as far as ghouls go, these are... Mm, these are... A lot more hostile towards outsiders. Hello. Doesn't look that bad with the normal ghouls. Seems like they have a bitter effect going on. But with Jason, it can look pretty bad. Is the way clear? There's definitely a line there. Uh, I'm guessing it's the glowing effect is put uh, on top of uh, the normal skin. And that makes it look so hot. Let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. It's not on the hands here, for example, hey at all. But now it is. Is the way clear? Because there is proper lighting and the. Uh, Clearly distinguished area on the head also disappears because there's no light going on. So let me know when the underground has been rid of the demons. Yeah, it's definitely the lighting here. I guess that's the natural lighting, or what is used as natural lighting in this game doesn't doesn't get picked up on everything, and it just looks looks really really strange on him. How the hell am I going to get rid of a, a group of super mutants with my trusty magical pistol? I'm not. Yeah, that's not happening. We do have a lot of mines though. Well, not a lot, but like a half dozen. No, a dozen. Uh, that's quite a lot. So maybe we do have what it takes to clear the mods. We can't rely exclusively on mines, but it should be enough to soften up a quite a lot of mutant targets. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about it, even if we get into a fight. 
since the mutants raved at them, and they're clearly after the stealth boys, can't see them being here for any other reason, we can probably deal with them. Yeah, they're basically blue skinned primitives. And that's their only visible difference. Mm -mm, this is an inviting place, girl. Yeah, and it's a lock by key. So if you don't accept the quest to go here, you are never, you don't have access to this place. I don't know where they are, so I'm making preparations. If we meet them, there might not be enough time to do anything about it. Again, I can't see them on the on on the mini map. I mean, compass warning system. I'm hearing footsteps. Maybe it's a fire. I'm not paranoid. I think I have a reason to be paranoid here. I'll just spot it, maybe. Someone's been keeping them here. It's a neutral guy. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass, instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Yeah, you don't look like the other ghouls from Bride's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Looks like I have to kill you. Okay, why the, why the hell would I have to kill her? Oh, uh, how did you get trapped up? Trip trapped down here. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right. I'm no match for those things out there, so I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. How have you survived here? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy, 
Yeah, that doesn't sound comfy. Yeah, time for me to go. I have options to try to help him get out of here, or I have to kill you for some reason. So, uh, I, I don't really see any point of these options. I don't want to help ghouls more than absolutely necessary, and I, but I don't want to go out of my way to murder a guy that's basically not in any way an obstacle to what we're trying to do. So, I'm just going to say goodbye to Harland. Time for me to go. Later. Might be okay with, against Nightkin because from what I'm seeing, most of them seem to be armed with a very crappy melee weapon. Rebar club. That's basically a block of cement with few steel bars going through it. It's it's gonna hurt, but it's still not an amazingly dangerous weapon. I still wouldn't want to go up against them with a pistol, so I think I'll start using the machine gun. A lot of traps here. And a concealed mine. Yeah, storm it. Ooh, I definitely will be collecting every mine I can. Oh shit. Someone walk into my mines. Yep. Someone's continuing to walk into my mines. Bar clock. There's another neutral here somewhere. Still, our defenses should come first, so I'm going to use this place where Harland is currently trapped as our base too. It's a What do you want now, smooth skin? Yeah, I have to get going. Bye. It's a fairly good position and we can probably rely on Harland's fire support if the Supremes get here. We might leave barrel traps alone. Not mine. I'm disarming them because I'm very likely to get trapped in them. Okay, at least I'm not worried about our surviving this. There is enough mines for us to take care of everything. It's 
is this is trap. It only functions as a trap, so we'll take the grenade out of here. Uh, we should be having quite a few shotguns at this point. No, we are not salvaging the shotguns from these traps. We're salvaging something else. Ammunition, probably. I have no idea how he managed to make piles of concrete over there in his mines, but I'm guessing he's piled up some kind of a rubble on top of that. It's a solid plan, I certainly didn't notice them. So someone charging in here in the dark would pretty likely trigger them. I do want to meet the other neutral here. That antler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Mm, ooh, at least we can respond to him. Okay, I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Who's Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Uh, Antler is probably the promise call. Uh, I, I don't see any need to press the issue though. He's clearly unstable and he seems to be the most stable one of these part, these bunch of people. So, so I'll deal with you. Who are you exactly? Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison, first name... don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor, very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The others' minds going strange, going crazy. But then, I found us new Master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. Yes. Okay, maybe I can help. Uh, it would be great if I do. We wouldn't have to fight all these supremacists. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Okay, it's the room with the ghoul. 
Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. So, I'll find the simple stockpile for you if you and your kin will leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Uh, this should be fairly straightforward. What do you want now, smooth skin? Yeah, uh, nothing. Later. You only need to access information in this room. Mm, there's nothing down here, so I'm guessing we'll have to go upstairs. Yeah, any traps? Holy shit, he became hostile. Why would he become hostile? Because I came up here. But why? I'm, I'm not a super imminent. I'm not hostile towards you. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Because I can't even say to him that I I need to access some of the computers upstairs, can I come there? Uh, there's no dialogue option for me, so I just assumed I could come up here. <sighs> Apparently not, because... I don't know. Are you looking this way? Marlon. I know we were good friends, but it has to come to an end. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, or... Okay, this computer trap is disarmed and won't explode unless it is rearmed. Okay. Okay. You like that? No, I, I'd like to be able to throw a grenade properly and not have random messages in the middle of a combat. Apparently that's too much to ask. Okay, something's properly wrong, I need to load. Every time I'm throwing up a grenade, uh, That message pops up. It started when I... I messed with the computer here. But it didn't stop. The panel didn't stop. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that should have stopped spinning. Yeah, uh, diffuse the trap. It's not really diffuse. Yeah, I'm guessing it sort of bugged out. Um, hopefully, loading the game. Remove that. <sighs> uh, I, I don't really want to fight with Harland. Uh, I'm guess I should talk to him now because I know that the game causes him to become hostile. 
uh, on the... What do you want now, smooth skin? How can I help get you out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. See you later. Bye. Okay. Uh, I don't see any change in our plan here. I'd rather kill a one goddamn worthless piece of ghoul ass than try to fight my way through a pack of super mutants. As much as they are freaks, I still think they're more worth worthwhile creatures than ghouls. And it's mu much easier to fight. It's a genuine risk of dying if I go. So. Harlan? Let's see if I can throw a grenade to save my life. Oh, probably not. Last time, I threw it against that pillar for some unknown reason. Who's there? There's no one here. Just imagining things. Is he looking our way? Over here. Shit. Move. You like that? Yeah. Hmm, the fragmentation grenade is definitely bugged out. Uh, I'll probably stop using them, and I'll see if exiting the game and restarting it will fix that, or do I need to do something to get rid of it? But it's not something I'm going to bother with right now. In Harland, I didn't want to kill you really, but it was you or a bunch of super mutants, so it's gonna be you. Hmm. Probably healthy to exit the game and restart it anyway. If there's some things like that bugging out here, there might be other things. And sooner or later, it's going to start a bigger problem. So, I'll see if I can find the information we need and then I'll just stop there. Try to get rid of the problem before things become truly, truly bad. And cause something like instability or something like that. Or the problem becomes permanent and I can't get rid of it anymore. Well, I can see probably one option even if it comes. I can just ditch the fragmentation grenades I have now. That probably fixes it. Or maybe I'll leave the area that might also fix things. Because it's clearly tied to the bugged out computer terminal on the downs downstairs. Uh, shipment mistake. Okay, we read this upstairs. Workplace misbehavior. 
In, the li in light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to retcon sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Yeah. So people using their cell phones against other employees. Hi, Robco Supply. We are sending back two crates of devices labeled self boys back to you according to the manifest. Each crate contained one gross 144 of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, one crate was opened and is missing five self boys. Sorry about that. Sincerely, Sanjeev Rajan, custodian. So, that should be enough. To get rid of our little super mutant problem. Mm, overall, it was not too bad. Not too bad at all. Parlance start to cause trouble, but that's pretty much it. Uh, Okay, we should be clear now. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Mm, there is no stockpile of stealth boys in this building. Liar! The invoice said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. The stealth boys were sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Yeah, he took the antlers. Watch. I forgot the mines. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, they're not going anywhere now, are they? Yeah, they're coming here. No, oh, come on, come on. No legs for you. <laughs> uh. Oh, good. More of them. Yeah, they turned to shit, but. Probably still Davidson at least left and he's a top bastard, so what was that? Mm. 
Okay, our stockpile of ammunition is going down pretty fast. Uh, anyone else? Ah, uh, rebar club. Incinerator. Jailer. Jail. Uh, I guess there was some someone trapped here. Again, a lot of uh, crafting items here. We don't have a lot of weight at the moment, it's free, so I I'm keeping letting them be here. What was that? Cigarettes. Uh, I'm still worried about Davidson. I, I didn't see him on the casualty list. Maybe he just walked away. It could be possible, I suppose. And not because he would, but because game mechanically, I, I did what he wanted. So maybe since uh, he didn't notice me by the time the mine skill went up, he just walked walked away from this place. I'd be fine with that. Uh, I don't think there's any mines there. Probably no enemies either. Yeah, this could have gone better, but at least we survived it. We didn't have to do a too exotic of an attempt to do that. The existing minefield we had there was enough. I, I do want to take a look around. Just to see if this place is now cleared, or... Yeah, or... Did the fact that uh, I did damage to then stop them from vacating the premises. It looks like they're they have cleared the area. I'm I'm not seeing die uh, notice something red. No. Hmm. Yeah, more crafting components. I think we'll go to Prim now and repair the droid there. You should have all the parts in it. Drink the vodka. I do want to check the prison. Got some kind of a jailer's key, so there has to be a prison here. Hmm. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure we've cleared this at least from super mutants. So no pointing, sneaking around. Put light on. Just quickly go to the place. A lot, a lot of equipment. Mm. I'm not sure we'll come back here and empty the place. That's not... Even if we had use for all the items, and we don't really, it's still a huge waste of time until you actually have a proper need for them. It's gonna be enough time... Okay, this was a jail. Gonna be enough time wasted on other things, so you don't have to go out of your way to waste any more time. 
I'm gonna waste a lot of it even without it. Uh, the wonder glue, wrenches, things like that is probably something we should come back here for because there are parts that you need to make uh, weapon repair kits. Also a lot of fission batteries. We'll see. Yeah, there's no one here though. Oh. Yeah. A pale ghoul. Male one. So Harlan, you died because of a dead ghoul. No, not really, not even for that. Because you wanted me to go risk my life to find her, to the extent that you'd rather kill me than just let me access a computer. So, that's a really selfish of Harlan, so it really was his fault that he got killed. I'm the innocent, innocent victim in the Harlan's evil plot here. Hope they take those goddamn feeble bastards with them. I don't enjoy the idea of going back there in that building, trying to get uh, past all the fuel ghouls again. <sighs> Not with the ammunition count we now have. But we do have a lot of explosives, so. Is the way clear? Again, now his head and the skin looks just fine. So I don't get what's sometimes going on with him. Huh. Okay, demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Head to the basement and talk to Jaden Bride about what comes next. Did they all leave? I think they did. It's good. That means we can finally access these things. Hmm, retirement. To Martin Niemeyer, the senior engineer. Hello, Martin. First, let me thank you for all of your years of dedicated service with me and the rest of the, our Webcon family. Without all of your hard work, we would not have achieved a fraction of the success that we enjoy today. That being said, the face of Repcon is getting younger and, according to my records, you have been fully vested in your pension for a little more than two years. Given the recent incident, I think that this is an excellent time for you to retire gracefully. So basically they kicked him out because they blame him for the accident that happened during the what Robco demonstration. Ooh, anti radiation. The ghouls don't really need it, so I don't even consider this feeling. Anything else? The radiation. Mm. That's pretty much it. Wow. 
party hats. A contest requires a key. In some odd ways, it's easier to see things without the light. Uh, I don't think there's anything of real value here. Another workbench. Mm, yeah, not really. So, I think it's time for us to get the hell out of here. We do need to find an exit of some kind before the strength boost gets removed. Although I can actually take more drugs, it's not a big deal. They went downstairs, so might as well follow them, see what the next thing we need to do is. See if that's something we want to do. We don't need to get rid of the ghouls one way or another. I'd rather do it the easy way, but if things don't progress, we'll do it the hard way. Another room with uh, crafting supplies. <sighs> uh, reloading bit. Uh, that's probably an exit. Probably the eggs that we found earlier. Ooh, a spacesuit. Spacesuit helmet. And that's some pack and eggs. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Yeah, I I'm not going to argue with him about that. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are Redeemers both. Yes, so you're going to just leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. You really pull... Uh, I can't really blame him uh, of this. Chris is definitely something... There's something, so, something wrong with him. Yeah, it's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Yeah, goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. It's definitely the lighting that's causing some problems. Hey, 